Okay guys, you've got your shawarma kit at home. In that kit you have these breads, okay? This is a Greek style bread. It's a flat bread, it's a bit thick. Just be uh, just be a little bit gentle with it. You don't want to fold it right now because it can, can break on you, okay? But once it gets warmed up, heated up, it's very, very flexible. So there's a couple things you can do to heat this bread up. One is you can preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Brush a little bit of oil. It can be canola, vegetable, safflower, uh, olive oil, doesn't matter. Just brush a little bit of oil on each side. Throw it on a rack in the oven for like three minutes or until it's nice and warmed up and very, very flexible and pliable, okay? So that we know we can bend it easily without it going, going to break, okay? And that's going to make the inside of this bread really fluffy and soft and the outside chewy. It's a great, great texture. Okay, so this is the most important step in your shawarma, all right, getting this bread right. The other option is to do it in the frying pan, which is what I like to do. So we got a couple options here. One is to put a little bit of oil in the pan, or you can put a little bit of oil on each side with your hand or with a pastry brush. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in here, maybe like half a teaspoon. Make sure your pan is preheated on medium heat. And I'm just going to rub the bread around on each side so I get some oil on each side, okay? I'm going to throw it in my pan. I'm just going to let it saute lightly. Now I might take a minute or a minute on each side or to take less. Just depends on the type of pan you have and the heat. Okay, everyone's stove is going to be different. Just don't walk away from this, just keep an eye on it, okay? I can hear the bread start to sizzle now. I am increasing my heat a little bit here. I'm just one notch above medium on my stove. So I'm just looking for a slight crispiness, just very, very slight on each side. Not quite there yet. There we go. See that? That's perfect. It's not it's not super hard, it's just very lightly crispy. Now I'm going to turn my heat down now because I can hear that sizzle quite aggressively. So we're, I'm seconds away now from this bread being ready. If you have more than one of these, you just, you just cover them with some foil on a plate, keep them warm until you're ready to make all your shawarmas at once. So this bread is ready to go. See how flexible it is now. It's got a nice texture on it. I'm going to bring it over to my board and we're going to make our shawarma. Okay, so our bread's all ready. Now's what we need. I took my chicken. That'll be portioned for you in a bag. I took it out, threw it on a plate. You can warm this up in the microwave for 30 seconds. Or you can lightly saute it and a little bit of oil, maybe the same pan you warmed your bread up in, it's totally up to you. If you want to chop this up a little bit in smaller pieces, you can do that too, okay? You have lots of options here, I just like to leave mine in chunks. So you just want to thoroughly warm that up. You're going to take your sauce, the tomb, which is your garlic sauce, as much as you like. This stuff is amazing. So get it all out, and we're going to spread it just right down the center line of our bread, okay? That's a lot of sauce, that's amazing. Okay, next thing is we're going to take our chicken and we're gonna lay that into our garlic sauce like so, okay? And then comes our lettuce mix. This will be in your kit as well, okay? Put that on here, get it all on. 
And then we have our pickled turnip. Some people love it, some people not so much. It is a nice texture. It is a nice flavor. Just throw that on top. And there you have it. Now you can eat it this way. You can fold it up. Eat it this way. You can eat it open face on a plate. But I'm going to show you how to wrap this and eat it like tickled style, okay? So, have a piece of foil here. This is like maybe 11 inches, 12 inches by 12 inches. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to throw that on there like so. I'm going to fold this up. So I'm going to fold it so that the bottom half kind of folds over like this. Okay. Then I'm going to move this over to the edge of my foil. I'm going to grab this corner right here and I'm going to move it over like that. And I'm just going to hold everything in place and I'm going to roll. Roll it up. Just roll it up. Don't worry about anything falling out on this end. We'll throw that back in there later. So I'm going to get almost all the way. I'm going to take this end here and fold it over, fold it up like so, and take this piece. And there we have it, okay? It's all ready to go. Now we can take our pieces that have fallen out and throw them in there like so. And then you have your shawarma ready to eat. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you have any issues while you're making these, give me a call.